Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We are your neighborhood friendly whiskey watchers, and this is a Lux Row 12 year double barrel cast strength. It's alcohol. I went all the way to Bardstown for this dang thing because you know what? You can't find it anywhere else other than the gift shop and maybe a few select retailers around Kentucky. Well, today we're gonna tell you whether or not that trip was worth our time. As we open this one up, we're gonna taste it, review it, and then we're gonna put a little bit of it in the old bottle here. You're staring. Oh, what? 12 year, but it's two different barrels. It is two different barrels. Both oak. It's a double barrel blend. So it's double oak. They're just not calling it double oaked. Well, it's two barrels, two separate barrels. Oh, two separate barrels blended into one. Yes, whole oh, okay. yes, yes, yes. Limited batch then. Oh, yes. Like I said, distillery only and a few select Kentucky retailers may have a few of these. If you're lucky. Normally those shops that you walk into that have the neon lights around mm. everything. So those. Anyway, plastic noises. Whoosh. Whoosh. Haven't done that in a while. Cork noises. Not bad. Let me see the cork. Oh God, I got whiskey everywhere. Oh yes. Speaking of, oh yes, I can smell that already. Oh boy. This is gonna be a fun one. This is a cork you could bash somebody's head in. <laughs> it with. really is. I like these types of corks. So while I'm pouring this up, Jake, you would absolutely love it if people went down below and hit that like and subscribe button, wouldn't you? Yeah, what he said, do that. And uh, hit that notification bell, do all the things, become a watcher. We are so close to 500, it's not even funny. I think we just, as of today, passed that 420 I know, blaze we, it milestone. We hit the blazing milestone and now we gotta move on. That Buffalo Wild Wings milestone. Yeah, sure, we'll call it that. It's blazing. The, anyway. The Taco Bell is a regular meal kind of milestone. <laughs> The, I could go through so much money on Taco Bell and then still have a little bit of room left in my stomach or something. I have gone through so much money at Taco Bell and I, I won't tell anyone why. I'm sure everyone can assume why. College was a fun time. We'll just leave it at that. Anyway. As long as you can keep your grades up, right? Exactly. 3.8 GPA, by the way. Anyway, let's give this one a looky-loo. And while we do that, this thing is coming in at 118.4 proof. Ah, two barrels, both aged since 726 of 2010. So this... Not quite 12. Depending on when it was dumped, because the people at the distillery didn't know when it was dumped. I'm assuming it was dumped in 2024, so this is probably almost a 14-year-old whiskey. Oh, yeah, that's fair. I was thinking of 12. I was like, well, it's so, not quite 12 years. So, yeah, I mean... It... So this could have been dumped and vatted for a little while, or dumped in... 2022 and then just held on and then just bottled and just at a retailer or at the warehouse somewhere anyway the color on this thing is absolutely beautiful it's a very dark almost dark red. it is almost red and the legs on this thing are absolutely going crazy the glass oh, yeah. is just coated with oils these fusel oils and let's give her a nose oh cherry Big, like, I get like raisiny, cherry, chocolate. The vanilla kind of takes a back seat on yeah. this one. Yeah. It is super sweet. Man, this is, okay. <laughs> smells a little hot though. It, do, it does smell a little warm. Get a little ethanol burn. But overall, I got to try this at the distillery. I paid $15 for an ounce. That's not bad. Which isn't bad. I got to keep the glass though. Oh, I, I gave go. that I gave that to our friend Anthony. Who? Tony. <laughs> I gave this to our friend Tony. He loves all the all the branded stuff. And I already have a few Lux Row glasses. So anyway. The nose on this thing is absolutely incredible. It's effervescent. It's everything you would ever want in a whiskey. Man. It's making my mouth salad. Oh, so same. Oh well, let's let's do it. Let's let's get in on it. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers to all you watchers. Cheers. Wow. That is smooth. That is. The nose with the ethanol coming off of it. I'm just. 
my goodness. I'm salivating so much. I'm like, you ever seen a Siberian Husky? Yeah. <laughs> or no, a Siberian Husky. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of a, of a St. Bernard. St. Bernard just everywhere. But yeah, this is really, really deceptively smooth. 118 proof. You wouldn't expect it to be so smooth. Especially considering this is my first drink of the day. Uh, same. No warm-up whiskey here, baby. 118 proof straight to the dome piece. And, it, ooh, the nose just mellows out after the Getting first. used to the ethanol, and all of a sudden it's like, hey, yeah, it's how like, you hey, doing? How you doing? This is like, there's a chocolatiness to this. There's like a Tootsie Roll chocolatiness to this. A little bit. It's like a chocolate covered cherry, what do they yeah. call those? Yeah. Oh, man. It's not, I hate the things. It's I, not the cherry cordial. That's what I was thinking of. I, 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 I can see the cherry cordial without like that that filling. Yeah, like just cherry inside of chocolate. Yeah. You know this. You know what this nose is a lot like. Mm. I think that smells better than this, though. It does. It does. But it noses a lot. A lot like it. It's very similar. Maybe we need to do a high-end blind. Oh man. Oh. Mm. Yeah, don't sleep on these. This is so good. I might as well put my pinky out. I know. If you're ever in Kentucky and around Bardstown, head up to Lux Row and see if they have a few of these. And now on the it show. almost tastes chocolatey. Mm-hmm. It has a chocolateiness to it. Yeah, see if they have a few of these on the shelf. They are a little pricey. I think I think I paid like $149 for it out the door. Plus not tax. Horrible. For a 12-year-old, no. No, it's not bad. Um, Especially for a two-barrel blend. I mean. Yeah, and for the quality of this whiskey, I'm really happy with it. They did a great job. The cork, like he said, could knock grandma out. I love a I love a solid metal cork like these. I really do. <laughs> a hefty little cork. I mean, it has all the little details on it. It says Lux Row. And it's even got the grippy ribbed on the side. Oh yeah, the grippies, grippies. Ah, <sighs> anyway, let's let's calm down for a second. Let's break this down. Lux Row, twelve year, double barrel, possibly aged around fourteen years. Twelve to fourteen. Twelve to fourteen years. It's a solid pour. I think if you're in Bardstown and can get by Lux Row, I think you should at least go in, pay the $15. Try it at least. Have a pour of it. Make the decision for yourself. I know 150 bucks is a little much, but yeah. I've always told myself I need to get one of these and I always turn it away, mm -hmm. but. I think this is the second time we've tried this, didn't we have a guy in Henderson let us try one? Yeah, we yeah. did, but it was a, it was a different blend. Yeah. And did. they were both great. I don't remember that first one being super great, but I was also a low proof guy back then. Yeah, you were like 90 to 100 proof, we're, we're fine. Now I'm like 100 to 150, I don't care. Let's, Anywhere in that range. Let's do it. If I'm partying, Everclear. <laughs> oh God. So. That's a whole different situation. So yeah, though. if you're in Bardstown, grab yourself a pour. If you're in Kentucky, go look for this one. You won't be disappointed. Um, if I want to feel bad about myself, Malort. Oh God. Malort, really? It'll make you fight your grandpa and your car. I have had so many bad experiences with Malort, it's not even funny, but I haven't had a bad experience with this one yet, and for that reason, I think we're gonna go with... True made. Is that a metallic ring? That has a metallic ring around the neck, Yeah, it's all, it's all metallic. That's very nice, um, very eloquent. Is that a metallic paper on the <laughs> I think I'm looking at a a B plus on this one. I was going B plus, A minus, somewhere in that area. Yeah. High B plus, low A minus. So I think this is a really good one. My only knock on it is the fact that it is Kentucky only. You and it's so exclusive, but with two barrels, I can understand. Yeah, it's, it's a really solid pour. The chocolatiness is still just coming yep. through. I, I couldn't even pronounce chocolatiness. I, I was like, C -c 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 finally! <laughs> and now that I've got you right where I want you, <laughs> I'd like to buy all your chocolate. I'd like to buy all your chocolate. Mm, this one's really good. Ah! But, does it have a place up there? No. No. No, not at all. <laughs> 
I, I like I said, I think this one's going to be up there possibly to the end of the year. I think we may have found our favorite. It's a hot minute. But anyway, thank you for joining us. That's been a review. Until next time, we want to remind you to go down below, hit that like and subscribe button, become a watcher, help us get to a thousand. I'll reveal the bottle for the giveaway at the 500. mystery box. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Fresh crap. <sighs> here. <laughs> Goodness gracious. And until we drink again, we want to remind you to share a pour with your friends and family because just like the movies, memories don't make themselves. They do not, bud. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to the watchers. <laughs>